When you're at Berry Pomeroy Castle, it's always best to come here with a lot of respect for the spirits that are here, um, because the spirits here are from a different um, century, a uh, completely different century to us, and um, and uh, they still see this castle as their home, and uh, you know it's where they lived and where they worked, also where they visited, and um, obviously it just it was not just the Pomeroy spirits that are still here, but you've got the Seymour family as well. Their spirits still reside here. Um, majority of them are on visitations to the castle, and also families of the Pomeroys and the Seymour family come here also on visitations. Um, so yeah, I just want to let everyone know that these spirits are not stuck at all, and um, they're actually here because they want to be here. They're actually very happy to be here. Um, there have been uh, occasions over the over the over the years where people have come down here and uh, trying to move these spirits and um, thinking that they're stuck, which is not the case at all. But the spirits here do get very angry um, at the visitors uh, that, that try to attempt to, to do that, to try to, to move them, because they're not unhappy at all. Um, spirits have free will. You know, they can be wherever they want to be. And um, and they, they do find that uh, a lot of the visitors, and I wouldn't say all the visitors, but you get a lot of visitors that are very disrespectful and uh and they're trying to pester them and trying to to move them from their home um it's kind of like the equivalent of someone forcing you out of your home it's like someone knocking on your door and uh telling you to move to get out you know um there have been some really annoying people over the years that have come down here and trying to you know forcefully move these spirits on and um where these spirits are not uh, unhappy, they're not stuck, and uh, as, as I was saying, that these spirits are on visitations to the castle, and the ones that are here have chosen to, to remain here because that's where they want to be. And, um, and if they want to move to the light, uh, they can do so by themselves. Um, but they, they are happy here, and um, many psychics and mediums have communicated with these spirits, and they've actually been very vocal about uh, the fact that they are happy here and the fact that they get very angry and annoyed um, with people that are trying to interfere and I would say that word interfere um, in capitals um, because uh, it gets very very annoying when you're getting people that are, that are here that come here and they're trying to interfere with the spirits and trying to impose their will on them by trying to move them on and they're, they're just not simply they're just not stuck um, you know, um, unfortunately, there are people that really don't understand spiritual stuff and um, with big e egos, um, they make assumptions um, and they really don't have a clue um, on the reality of, uh, of spirits. Um, but these spirits are really happy to be here. Some do communicate with you, some don't. Um, it's all about free will. And also, it's all about uh, energy. Uh, they do need a lot of energy to do things. Um, and they're not always seen. Um, you know, you could be in a, with a group of people. You might have one member of that group that might see them. Or even two members of that group. I mean, some people will see them. Some people won't. Um, you won't always see them. But you're if you're tuned into it and you, you, you come here with an open mind, without any expectations whatsoever, you will have an experience, I'm sure. Um, it took me, I would say, nearly 20 years to see my first spirit um, here, and I've had so many experiences since. Um, I've been able to capture a lot of uh, photos of the, of the spirits here and ghosts and all sorts um, through perseverance. But what you're looking at now is uh, St. Margaret's Tower there, um, where obviously the story of the White Lady uh, that resides here. She's not trapped here at all. Um, she's actually seen in all areas of the castle and especially along the, the ramparts um, behind that wall there. As you can see behind that wall is a long corridor but she's also been seen on the lawn as well. Many times and many people have, have come here over the years and have actually seen and experienced her on the lawn and have actually taken photographs as well. I've captured a lot of photographs of her on the lawn. And also, I had an experience in um, October 2020 when I was down here. And I was just about to to go home. I went over towards the 
Castle Cafe to pick up all my camera equipment and my bags. Went over there um, to get to get them and to get my uh, food bag that I had because uh, I was down here for a good few hours. Um, and I was just about to walk towards the driveway and I saw a beam of light shining towards the bushes as you go up to the castle. So basically, as I was walking, approaching the um, approaching the driveway from the tea rooms, um, I actually did see like a really bright uh, white light shining against the bush, and I actually thought it was, um, you know, just people. I thought there was somebody there with a torch, but I, I didn't see anybody. But I thought there mu there must be somebody there with a torch. So I'm going to do like a reenactment of what actually happened. So, so I was walking over here towards the uh, Castle Cafe, picking up all my bags, um, which were scattered down here. Um, I had a tripod, I had a couple of camera bags full of camera equipment, ghost hunting equipment. Um, so I kind of came out of here, walked down here, walked towards the driveway. You can't really see it very well in the dark, but there's a bush over there, right in the background. And I saw like a beam of light shining against the bush. And I thought somebody was over there with a torch. So as soon as I walked around here, I, I was astonished. I was quite uh, shocked to see a silhouette of a woman standing over here, just past this sign. So you've got the sign to the car park here. And there's a bump just right here. And she was standing over here. And, it was, and I didn't see a face. I didn't see a face at all. I, all I remember was that I saw definitely a woman because you could see the dress, but it was really, really bright. And I mean, ultra bright. And it really, it, it did scare me. I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't overly scared. You know, I didn't get any bad vibe from her. Um, but I believe it was the white lady that I saw because um, many other people have seen her as well. Not just along the driveway, but I mean, my friend uh, Jenny has seen her at... Uh, halfway up the driveway gliding past and going into the uh towards the uh, bushes um but she's actually seen her quite a few times so as you go back up the driveway uh before you get to the uh to the gate um she actually saw her walk just walking uh well not walking but uh, uh, gliding gliding along the uh the drive um towards the uh towards the bushes towards the trees and then slowly sort of started fading away. So when I saw the white lady here back in October 2020, this is where I actually saw her. And uh, and then all of a sudden I saw her for about four, about four seconds, I reckon. It must have been about four or five seconds. And she just stood there, but I didn't, I didn't see her face. I think she must have been maybe looking towards this, this, this direction, but, I, but I, I don't recall seeing her face. Um, but she could have been facing that direction, or she could be facing in different, different, a different direction. But I just remember just seeing a silhouette of a woman. But you could definitely see the dress, and uh, and then slowly she started dimming, and slowly sort of fading away. And this was just about here. But it was a, such a, a well. I didn't. I didn't start running back up the driveway. I just carried on walking. I just carried on walking up the driveway. Um, but I was questioning what I just saw. I thought, oh my God, I just, I just saw my first spirit, you know. Because um, I've always had experiences at Berry Pomeroy Castle, a, a lot of experience over the years. But the, you don't see spirits a lot. You don't see ghosts a lot. Um, it's very rare to see them overall. Um, but they, they do tend to let you know that they're around. Um, they do give you signs. Um you know, obviously, if you've got a spirit box, if you've got a, an EVP recorder, if you're a psychic, and, um, you know, you will experience them. Um, but I wouldn't say all the time. So, yeah, I just carried on walking up the driveway. So that was my uh, my experience with the white lady. And that was uh, October 2020 at uh, precisely quarter to two in the morning. But when you see a spirit, it, it will always appear very, very bright. Um, so if you can sort of uh, 
if you can think about like a spotlight it was that kind of brightness it's really really bright dazzling you could say um so you'll see it but you don't tend to see them for very long they tend to sort of fade fade away um so they sort of she's so basically she was just stood there and she slowly fades away and I just, I just kept looking at her but i just don't i don't recall seeing the face i don't think she was probably facing me directly um but then she started slowly sort of fading away so this was just here so you'll hear a lot of many tales of the white lady in margaret's tower which is you know which is true she is seen in margaret's tower because um steve bantz um visited the castle back in 2010 um at half 10 in the morning um so he paid to get to go in and he walked directly towards margaret's tower and slowly walked down the steps he wasn't even expecting anything to happen at all you know and he saw the white lady at the bottom of the uh the dungeon and she was look, looking directly at him uh he did describe her like um had like a uh, white like wedding dress on with a white uh, veil um but a very sort of serious uh look to her um we can just make out her hair uh just make out her hair on a like a fringe um but also she, he could make out some of her hair but she did have a veil on but he did he, he, but she was gesturing to him sort of like shaking her dress as if to say go away you know basically telling him to go away so um front of the, front of the living daylights out of him and uh she was solid she was like she wasn't transparent but she was solid as if there was somebody down there um obviously there was no one down there in fancy costume or no one dressed as a white lady it was uh, definitely the spirit because a lot of other people have experienced it and they have experienced it where she's actually throws stones at them uh, of people you know um so yeah because uh you know she, she she's um she is a spirit that's been here for many centuries that she's happy to be here um but she did go through quite a bit in her life you know she did have a very difficult life a very complex life um with everything that was going on at the time but um but yeah he uh, he did see her so she was basically just gesturing to him as if like to say go away you know shoo go away and sort of um shaking her dress uh in the direction of the of the of the steps of margaret's tower but then yeah then he sort of quickly left and um yeah, that was back in uh, 2010.